Wild Wild Foodies, welcome back to Shari's Kitchen. I hope everybody is doing Irie. All right, so I asked if you wanted to see my green season recipe and you said yes. So guess what? Your girl going to deliver today. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I am going to try and see if I can put up more than one video for the week. I'm not promising, so don't quote me. I'm still trying to get used to this this YouTuber thing, you know, with the editing and the lighting and all of that stuff. So I'm still in the process, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try, because it's, it's a little tedious, I'm in a 9 to 5, but I'm going to try for you guys to put up more than one video for the week. So, let's get right into the video. Green season it is. <laughs> okay guys so the first thing you're going to need is a food processor here i have a black and decker one that i got i believe it's target or amazon you can get it on either one and it's pretty reasonable okay so i have a white onion here and um, this was a large one i might not use everything right here i have some parsley and then uh, i also have some basil leaves okay um i have some allspice pimento seeds I have um, one head, one entire head of garlic, and I'll be using a piece of that scotch bonnet pepper. I also have an entire green bell pepper, sweet pepper, and like about a quarter red bell pepper, sweet pepper. Here I also have some thyme, and I have some scallion which I chopped up. I store my scallions in the, the freezer because it lasts me a longer time. I'm just showing you right there how I keep it, okay? And then next we're going to need some olive oil to combine everything together, alright? So let's add them to our food processor. So as I said, I was using a large onion, so I'm not going to use everything, okay? I'm just going to add everything else. Um, I'm gonna take a small piece of that scotch bonnet pepper because we don't want it to be spicy all right we just want to let it have some flavor add in my parsley there my basil leaves and um, my sweet peppers next my also known um, the bell peppers and um, guys with this green seasoning it's it can be so personal because you don't have to add everything i'm adding you can actually use whatever you have in your fridge so what if you don't have any parsley or you don't have any basil leaves then you know just use what you have there i'm adding some thyme and if you don't have any um fresh thyme you can always use on um, the dry thyme that's selling the store in the bottle that's totally fine okay and here i also have a bottle one that i'm showing you that i use sometimes um, so we're just gonna close this up and we're gonna start processing this okay so as soon as it starts I'm just gonna start adding my olive oil so it, everything can combine nice and smoothly as it's blending you see that and it's just getting greener and greener as we progress okay so um, if you see I do have some at the top that's not blending so I'm just gonna open it and then just use my spoon and push everything down just so everything can be blended nicely and this part is also personal where what if you want more chunks of your seasoning and not blend it into maybe like minces you have the option to stop when you want to so that's it we're all done look at that beautiful guys it smells so good it smells so good <laughs> so now i'm just gonna go ahead and i store them in um these mason jars and you can have them in your fridge for up to three weeks and believe me when i say you can use it in almost anything okay Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.